Hey everyone, I'm Jen. Okay, so let, this is the Statue of Liberty and her tablet. Not only does it have new um, corners etched out for me, but it's now, um, as my Emmy mate pointed out, is longer. And um, for me, also a little wider. So those of us who have ex been experiencing the Mandela effect, um, I, I've now gotten to the point, so what? You know, many of us have like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reality changes, geography changes, anatomy changes. Um, it's not just about logos. Statues can change. And history says it's always so. Speaking of history, history can change. But uh, the reason why I still stick with it is that they can be clues. They can be seen as benevolent clues. So, um... I don't know if part of her her label here is um this is a souvenir from the lovely lady's house that um is letting me stay in her room. So I don't know um if that 6 is really like that from July 4th, 1976. But as of now, um the only gold thing is her flame and her pointer finger looks to be pointing up at the flame. I don't know it it um the finger seems a little different or it's closer to the the torch and um of course I'll quickly repeat the changes that I have um seen she used to hold the the torch um with this arm the elbow used to be bent um I never counted these but just to say these represent the number of dwarves that Snow White has 777 seven, seven. Um, so far, the only gold thing here, which it used to all be the same color, is this, but there's a prediction by, um, I'll include the link be below, oh, an Orby, um, by Mars Rats, um, that, um, the crown is going to turn gold. There are these goldish highlights. Um, the other changes, um, of course, is that she's no longer in New York City on Ellis Island, but today's history, she is on Lady Liberty Island, not Lady Liberty, Liberty Island in New Jersey, not part of New York and has always been so. People used to be able to climb up there, but per this history, um, nobody has for over a hundred years because of the German bombings. I know this is repeat for some of you. Um, of course, my, my, um, I refused to go up there when touring Ellis Island um, because I was carrying a one-year-old baby. And I remember that specifically because I felt embarrassed because I was going with my grandmother and her mother carried her to Ellis Island um, from Europe when my grandmother was one years old. So I felt like I was this spoiled person not wanting to climb the stairs. The, everything else was elevator, but the final part they explained was stairs. So I actually refused to go up to the torch. Anyhow, I wish I did now because supposedly no one's been up there. Um, she's also uh, fatter, and to me, her leg is now, um, instead of just uh, straight lunging backwards with her foot showing and her heel raised it. Now you can see the bend in the knee. So that part's changed for me. Um, her toes. Yes. You know, at one point she got chains magically and then the chains were, um, broken luckily, but her, the feet used, this foot used to be forward and now it's angled sideways and even this foot, which used to be hidden in the ground, um, was facing forward, but um, is now um, angled sideways as she's bending her knee. Um, her, She's looking less large in the toga because she had gotten larger for a little while, but her stomach is still, um, seems to be, um, I don't know, her boobs are perky, but I felt like her stomach looked like it was still aligned with her perky boobs. So she's just not as feminine. And then um, the link below has a theory that uh, kings wear crowns. He's predicting that this crown is going to turn gold and that the face who's no longer feminine looks like Elvis is looking like Elvis the king. Um, whose famous song is Viva Las Vegas and 
Vegas is connected to Vega, so I don't know. He put all those pieces, uh, parts together, but for me, I do believe that these are benevolent clues. Um, I even, uh, let me see her base. Okay, and also, I didn't know that her hair was that long um, or curled like that, so, um, you know, up to her shoulder length, and of course, her neck looks huge um, here, but uh, I do believe that the Mandela Effect are clues. Um, they want us to think about things. Look at the, the, the thinker statue by Rodin. It's no longer a fisted thinker, and it's gone through many, many variations um, so far and the focus is the thinker even the Beatles song what would you do if I sang it's no longer what would you do it's what would you think so they want us to think about something whoever they is even if it's God our higher selves the aliens whatever's doing this um, I do believe they're benevolent clues and even though I'm not a religious person I am a spiritual person and do believe in prayers or that's another way of saying with your heart putting your um focus in you know on the intention what you want and i believe that that is um going to be a remembered um ability that we have to just literally um put our intention on something and that can um make it be true in our reality. So when I use the word prayers, uh, for those of you who are not religious, um, please don't get turned off by that. And those of you who are religious, please do not judge me as a, or label me as a religious person either. Um, but the song, um, by mamas and papas, um, California dreaming. And I began to pray. Uh, that's how it was for me and many of us. Um, but in this reality is I pretend to pray and that's what we're doing in now. And uh, we need to, in my opinion, uh, it's a clue for us to return to actually praying, thinking about it and feeling it with our hearts. You know, when people say, oh, I'll, I'll say a prayer for you. You're just saying the words. You're not really like taking the time to 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 believe it in your heart that that person gets better or whatever. Anyhow, these are my um, Lady Liberty uh, ramblings. And oh, one more thing is, I'll just say a UFO. I'll just point here like it's up in the sky. Um, but two nights ago, I saw a stationary UFO, which literally means unidentified flying object. So it, I did not know what it was. It was red lights and some yellow, but mostly red lights and the lights were flashing, but it was stationary. Later, a plane did uh, fly by there. And then coincidentally, um, uh, another person in our community also saw stationary red flashing lights. And um, she is on the western coast of Canada and I am on the eastern um, I'm in Georgia, which is an eastern state, a coastal state in the USA. So um, last night, the clouds, if you saw my video, the, the skies were all clouded up um, again. But um, anyhow, is anyone else seeing that? And I love you. So lots and I love you. Okay. Mwah.